this morning but I'm going to put it down just for a bit actually we're outside today and um, it's a beautiful day actually some beautiful weather uh, here in Subic it's been raining the last probably two months non-stop just um, well we had some breaks but um, now making the most of the weather so today we want to talk about our relationship update because a lot of people have been commenting and saying what's going on with your relationship I thought you were going to break up and um you know before i start talking and i'll just go on and on and on <laughs> let's give arian the opportunity to say her piece and say you know what what happened during this whole COVID and this whole 2020 which has been a real mess and what happened for us and our relationship so you tell us honey well i think it started we started arguing when when little Peter was only like three months old. I think you need to speak up, yeah? Okay. So, yeah. I think we s we started arguing when little Peter was only three months old. And we have been fighting for every day because you are going crazy inside the house. We're locked up in inside the house. You're getting stressed because of your work and because of me not having time with you, not having time with you know doing my 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 work or my my piece mm. so you're getting frustrated and i'm also like too occupied with my my son and with a lot of things as well and when we're both getting crazy and we started arguing every day and every day so that's when you had this video uploaded and it made it worse when you made a video out of it mm. and i was like so upset with you yeah <laughs> really upset i cry i cry almost every day do you want to kick me out of the house i actually it was i don't mean to kick you out from the house i don't really mean to kick you out from the house and it's not my house i think she just want me to live elsewhere what, what yeah. i want is what you to go out of the house for a few days so I don't see you and then <laughs> you calm down because you're too panicking with everything you're getting stressed and I'm getting stressed and I don't want to argue I just want a peace of mind but I didn't mean to kick you out from the house I didn't mean to you know take this house from you I never no I know meant, that I yeah. know that yeah so people were assuming oh he's gonna kick uh, she's going to kick you out from the house she's going to take everything from you and I and I I'm so sad about that because I never think of that. I never think that way. Mm. And I was kind of upset with some some people as well that oh, they're commenting you're a gold digger. I was never a gold digger. Well, we stopped doing the uh, YouTube videos about our personal life, mm -hmm. and it wasn't until very recently that our relationship started to improve. That uh, we started this channel and started vlogging about you know our family life in the Philippines. Yeah. And the issue as well is. I have been uh, saying no to filming. I have been w trying to tell you I don't want to be in the camera. I don't want to speak in front of the camera. I don't want to be part of the video. And that's where you're getting frustrated as well because you want me to be in the video. Because, and I, I realize looking back at the old videos that you have, I think I have to real. I realize that I think it's good for us good for the family good for the baby but because i can always look back at the old videos and see myself 10 years from now yeah our memories memories we we keep our memories in there and so i think it turned from negative to positive and i al i always want i would like to have the baby in the videos because when he's around 10 years old he would oh mommy that's me i can always show my baby oh that's you when or, you or he'll say mommy why'd you put me in the video <laughs> <laughs> everyone can see me he might be shy but hopefully he's not and uh mm. he's a bit extroverted kind of like his dad so yeah and i think covid was a negative thing but it turned out to be <laughs> 
it, it helped us to be, you know. I'll tell you what Ariane always says to me. She <laughs> says, COVID-19 is the best thing that happened to us because if it wasn't for COVID-19, you wouldn't be stuck here and forced to live into the house. You could move out or you could go to Thailand or go to another city and move and we probably would have cut the cord and broken up at that stage. Is that true to yeah, say? Yeah, th- that's true because something, everything will, everything can happen if you're out of the com- uh, country. Like you might meet some girls and I might get upset once you meet girls once and I started, you know, m- moving on. Mm. So once you meet other girls, I will start moving on and move move out from your you know your from your life or the real reason why i just wanted to get out of the house is korean drama <laughs> not nah, just kidding um actually Arin does this one thing that just uh, grinds my gears she watched korean drama shows and i hate them i don't want to watch the drama i don't want that and she's been watching it even with the baby and it drives me crazy i don't want to be in the same room when Iron and Ruby is watching Korean drama. It's just, uh, grinds my gears. But no, on a serious note, I'll um, say my two, two cents worth. Um, yeah, so I think actually this has been a long time coming. If you look at the core, I think the major thing for me is, you know, I like YouTube. I, I think YouTube is a very positive thing for a number of reasons, right? Because, you know, it can improve our speaking skills. It can, um, you know, help us step up with our career, make us more confident, and you know, you can possibly earn a little bit of beer money as well, which is great, right? Helps out with the bills and the family, etc. And I think that's great, right? So Arian has always been adverse. If you go back to the old property club videos and you know you look at some of the videos where I was trying to film and include Arian some shots will actually show that she's kind of not really wanting to talk to the camera not wanting to be involved and that really upset me because i felt like you know i'm i'm having to provide a hundred percent you know i have to do everything all the responsibility and accountabilities on on my shoulders and i didn't find that fair and i I thought you know like also i want to create memories and and vlog and i want to share something together and a big thing for me was that she didn't want to do YouTube with me. And that kind of made me a bit sad and made me wonder, was she the right person for me? Honestly, I'm just being honest. And look, we haven't scripted this. This is totally impromptu. But I got to the stage where I started to wonder, okay, well, maybe I need to find someone who's more like me. Um, because, you know, we were just fighting like cats and dogs. I was pushing her to do YouTube and it got to the stage where I, you know, I, I didn't want her to do YouTube. I was like, okay, if you don't want to do it, whatever, just let's stop doing it. Let's stop doing it. And I've just on my property channel focused solely on property club. But recently Arian came to me and she said, look, you know, she wants to start the family vlog. She wants to start doing that. And to be honest, I was really reluctant. I'm like, oh, I don't want to go down this rabbit hole again. Um, are you sure about this? You know, and you know, she was certain she wanted to do this and start the Caster James channel. So I think that's really positive. And I said, okay, I'll give this one last try. Um, I'd say that we haven't totally reconciliated our relationship, but we're halfway there. And yes, I have to agree that, um, you know, with COVID-19, absolutely, um, you know, it just rocked me 20, 24-7. It's just been, you know, from the start of this year, from having our baby boy from our baby boy being in you know the emergency for two weeks here in the hospital um being sick you know and you know frightened from for my son you know worried that you know he might you know have some problem long term or you know even die so it started off like that and you know even when Arian was pregnant we were fighting definitely fighting i mean you know if you've had a child before and you've gone through pregnancy you know women when they're pregnant are highly sensitive extremely sensitive and it's like walking on eggshells and you've got you know even more responsibility upon yourself and for me you know i'm not really that great i'll own the fact that i'm not fantastic when it comes to you know household chores and you know that sort of thing i'm good at working i'm good at providing and that's my role in the relationship so when i had to do that and take care of arian while she was pregnant that that caused a lot of pressure hello wilma Come here. 
This is so funny. Actually, right now, come over. Come here, Wilma. Come on. We got a friend of ours, actually, and she's just popped around, Wilma, and uh, just totally random. Hey, Wilma. Hello. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. This is the Casa James vlog. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Wilma's actually like an extended member of our family. Really, she's kind of like our auntie. Yeah, thank you. She's just... Her and Brian are, are very close friends of ours, so... See you see yourself later. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 Alright, see, see you. Have a lovely day. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Aaron, you talk to the camera. I've got something for you. Wait, wait, I've got something for you. What is it? Oh. Yeah. Because Brian's trying to make the sausages. Yeah. Our friend Brian's trying to make sausages. And I buy these sausages from Barreto. They're English sausages, and they're my favorite. So give that to Brian and have him have try that. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh... <laughs> really good All sausages. Right, thank you. Bye for now. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye. All right, back to vlogging. Let's do this. Where was I? Where was I? Have a lovely day. Bye bye. I think you're shy. <laughs> okay, I think Wilma was a bit shocked. <laughs> All good, all good. Anyway, where was I? I think I was talking about, you know, Aryan decided to start the channel again. And I was definitely reluctant to start again, but I think it's been healthy. We haven't 100% reconciliated, but we're, we're getting there um, step by step. And we're trying to, I guess, what's exciting about this channel for me is that, you know, we're trying to start our relationship again. It's, it's a, you know what, the best word for it is to reboot our relationship. We're rebooting it and we're trying to, you know, reconnect again and have a good relationship, you know, for, you know, ourselves and also our son. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was very helpful when we, we had to, uh, we have to sit on the table and talk to each other one on one what our problems are. Ten, are ten things I hate about you. No, it's not the ten that things one? I hate about no. you. It's our uh, something like, what's your goal? You, what, what do you want? Ten years, uh, five years from now, three years from now, and we have to write down on the paper what are what our individual. Yeah. Our, our per I remember. Our I, I personal, sat I sat yeah. Arian down one day, and I'm like, well, what do you want out of life? Like, what's your goals? Like, let's sit down and write down our goals. And see, you know, are, are we consistent with each other? You know, do I want the same thing you want out of life, right? Are we consistent? So we actually wrote down those goals and, and did that. And actually, at that time, I was pretty shocked because I didn't see much consistency. I thought we were definitely going to break up. <laughs> so funny that you say that that was a good exercise because, uh, yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> but, hey, this is something I, uh, I said to do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and anyway, I'll shut up. Yeah, but I think the good thing about our relationship is we we can we can talk about anything. Mm. We can talk about anything. We can honest about anything. It's either bad or good, and we just don't hide anything from each other. Well, we stopped doing that to be honest, but I think you know at one stage we said let's break up, let's not fight, let's just be like friends, mm. living in the same house. And actually I did, and I, ha I haven't showed this on the vlog actually, and I might actually upload a vlog on Property Club. I, I did look at some condos and some places uh, probably in the last month or two to move out to. And um, up until like three or four weeks ago, I was still considering moving out. But the big thing for me was, you know, expenses, COVID hit us hard, you know, the cost of doing that and you know, I I've just been focusing on work, really, just heavily, very heavily, just engaged in my work too. I think the problem yeah, is ignore the problems. When you're, t when you try to find a place for yourself, mm. and where it fell off was like me getting worried about you getting infected, and I was like, if you go to Manila, if you go somewhere, and mm. then you wants to come back to visit us, you have to lock yourself up in the room, room for fourteen days. Yeah, yeah, well, Arian was saying I had to quarantine for 14 days. If I leave Subic Bay, 
you know, for example, went to Manila because I had an opportunity because of my work, I can get back to Manila. And I was thinking at one stage, because I, I still do have a condo there to take back my condo and just move into that because then I don't have to, you know, pay the rent expense. But then I lose the rental income, you know, so, you know, it's, it's an opportunity cost. Yeah, I think that's where you're refusing to move out because mm. you can't see us, you can't see the baby. Yeah. You have to lock yourself for 14 days because it's it's a responsibility you have to be a good citizen you know yeah <laughs> and yeah. you have to be you have to but not not just that to be honest like i even looked at some rentals and uh even during covid 19 they're still quite expensive whereas thailand prices are come right back drastically the philippines in terms of property prices rental and for sale prices have still not dropped immensely a little bit but not not immensely but yes i think you know in the end i've kind of dropped it because we've been doing a lot better um yeah and hopefully we continue to do better but look i don't think we're fully reconnected yet but we're working towards us towards it and you know this vlog is going to help us reconnect i think in a big way and the beautiful thing about this vlog that i love and this is what i'm trying to explain to rm i don't want this to be scripted I don't want this to be edited. I just want this to be, you know, beautiful parts of our lives. Because also, I ha I had a health scare in the last couple of months, and um, you know, what happens? You know, if something happened to me, what if, what if I died tomorrow? And I I realized I don't even have a will. You know, I got to sort that out. You know, I'd like to have some memory or something of me if if that did happen. I'm not saying that that's happening. And actually, I've been focusing on my health because I do not want that to happen. I've been focusing heavily. I stopped drinking heavily. I stopped drinking for a month plus, and then you know I kind of drink the odd beer on occasion, um, but I really shouldn't. But I just find it so hard not to drink beer. <laughs> I quit hard liquor. Um, but yeah, that's that's the story. That's what's going on, and you know I've just been trying to get fit. And actually, we might do a vlog update soon when I lose more weight, but. There was a vlog I did and I was 110.5 kilograms. And recently, I just weighed myself th this morning and I'm down to my lowest yet. And I'm down to 98.0 kilograms this morning when I weighed myself. So that is like, you know, 12.5 kilos in the last probably, I don't know how long it's been. It's been two months or three months. I have to go back to the video where I starved myself because... I starved myself for like eight or nine days or something, and that's where I started my health kick. But anyway, that's it. Do you have anything else to say, babe? Yeah, you just mentioned about the what if I die tomorrow. Mm. That's where also I'm getting getting upset with you because mm. like you're so you're always working, 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 and you don't spend time with us. You don't spend time with your baby. That, you, that well, I threw myself in, into my work. That's true. But I've also been stressed about the bills and, yeah. you know, that's part of the reason. But yeah. yeah, okay. You just have to have a balanced life, you know, at least yeah. once a week, maybe spend the time with us. And that's just, what I'm trying yeah. to do. That's what I'm trying yeah. to do. Yeah. I think you're, you're, you're trying to be, you know, you're trying and you're being good with that. I just don't want to push you more because that's, if I push you harder or if I ask you a lot of things I think that's where you you start getting crazy so I was like okay with the diet let's just make it a little bit easy but let's make it a little bit uh, let's make it consistent I'm doing a combination of keto and intermittent fasting in the sense that Aryan will literally starve me and not feed me dinner for example anyway I think we're gonna wrap up mm -hmm. um, is there anything else you want to say Mm. I'd say not so far. I think I've, I've said my piece. Stay tuned to Casa James and you'll get to see our life story and where we end up. And hey, we could go anywhere from here, but I think definitely things are improving for us as a couple. So thanks for watching. This has been Peter. And Arian. From Casa, Casa James. James. I almost said Property Club. Bye-bye. <laughs>